Good morning and welcome to Top Stories on Ogama TV, reaching you live from Cold City, Enugu State, Nigeria. Top Stories is where we bring you highlights of major events from across the country in the last one week. And in this week's edition, we have just the most exciting compilation of stories from across the country. Don't forget to follow our social media handles on Facebook and Twitter at Ogama TV and on Instagram at Ogama TV One. Also check out our YouTube channel at Ogama TV and our website at www.ogamatv.com. I am Angoleka Iwaba, your host for this week. The first on our top stories this week, the managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Chijioke Nadi, has charged journalists to maintain truth as a core value in the discharge of their duties to the society. Nadi, who spoke on the theme, Dangers of Gagging the Media in Contemporary Society at the NUJ Press Week in Enugu on Thursday, stated that as professionals, journalists can only enjoy the respect of the public when they honor truth and report without bias. Enugu State Governor Pete Mba has described the Monday sit at home in the southeast enforced by the indigenous people of Biafra in the region as a thing of the past. Mba, who made the announcement after his visit to the presidential villa in Abuja, said that economic and educational activities have fully returned to normal in the state, and the future will be about erasing the history of sit at home from memory. The Nigerian Correctional Service Enugu State Command on Tuesday says it has registered 1,137 inmates for the National Examination Council of Nigeria in the last 12 years. The controller said that 124 inmates were taking the ongoing NACO examination at the Special Study Center within the Enugu Custodial Center. Enugu State Governor Pete Mba has directed the verification and biometric capturing of all local government workers in the state. The exercise, which would last till February 2024, will terminate the employment status of workers who were absent from the process. The chairman of the Enugu State Capital Territory Development Authority, Uche Anya, has sworn to suppress nine clubs in the state, claiming that the enterprise were breeding centers for illegality and noise pollution. Enugu State Police, in collaboration with the Department of State Security Operatives, have killed three suspected male armed robbers in a shootout at 2nd Avenue, Independence Layout, Enugu. The operation led to the recovery of hundreds of thousands of Naira mobile phones rolls of POS printing papers and other valuable items. A high court sitting in Enugu has ordered the PDP national chairman, Ambassador Umar Damagum, to immediately swear in SKE Ude Okoye as the substantive national secretary, having been duly nominated by the Southeast Zonal Executive Committee. A court appeal ruling in Lagos on Thursday has overturned the victory of Labour Party representative Chikode Udefuna and declared People's Democratic Party representative Chima Obiaze, winner of the Enugu State House of Assembly, Eziago constituency election. Obiaze, who challenged the ruling of the post-election petition sitting that declared Udefuna victorious, was reinstated after proving that his opponent did not meet the minimum requirement of the Electoral Act. The federal government of Nigeria has pledged to support about 250,000 wheat farmers with 50% input subsidy to boost production output in this year's dry season farming. President Bola Tinubu has disclosed plans to grant full autonomy to Nigerian universities to enable them to develop at their own pace and curtail external control. President Bola Tinubu on Monday appointed Pius Akin Yerile 
as the new board chairman of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company with effect from December 1st, 2023. He also reappointed the current group chief executive officer of the company, Mele Kiari, for another term. President Bola Tinubu has directed the rehabilitation of all dilapidated federal roads in the country. Speaking on the development, Nigeria's Minister of Works, Dave Omahi, said Tinubu is committed to rehabilitating the roads to improve mobility of people and goods and ensure safety of lives. The Supreme Court has given an order extending the validity of the 200 Naira 500 and 1,000 Naira notes. In a ruling on Wednesday morning, a panel of the Apex Court ordered that the old notes remain legal tender until necessary facilities are put in place for their replacement. President Bola Tinubu has revealed his top priorities following his presentation of the 2024 budget. Speaking on Wednesday, President Tinubu listed Nigeria's national defense and internal security, local job creation, macroeconomic stability, human capital development, social security, poverty reduction, and investment environmental optimization as some of the top priorities of the 2024 budget entitled Renewed Hope. Nigeria's Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tunji Ojo, has assured Nigerians that the promised automation of the passport application process will begin in the next one week. The minister made the disclosure in an interview on Channel Television's Politics Today, where he declared that the automated feature will be available for use to the citizens from December. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwola, has said the Supreme Court will, for the first time in its history, get the constitutionally prescribed 21 justices. According to him, the move will check the deficiency of justices in the apex court due to retirement procedures that leave the court poorly constituted. And that's it for this week's edition of Top Stories on Ogama TV. Don't forget to follow our social media handles on Facebook and Twitter at Ogama TV and on Instagram at Ogama TV One. Also check out our YouTube channel at Ogama TV and our website at www.ogamatv.com. I'm Angeleka Iwaba, your host for this week. Bye for now. When you think of online TV and radio, broadcasting, media consultancy, event coverage, event management and planning, there's no better name than Ogama TV. But that's not all. We're also into photo studio and coverage, equipment rental, news blogging, fashion and pageantry. We are at number 5 at Stroke 21 Chime Avenue, beside Open Sheraton Restaurant, New Heaven, Enugu. Follow us on our social media handles, Facebook at Ogama TV, Instagram at Ogama TV One, Twitter at Ogama TV, website www.ogamatv.com. You can also send us email at ogamatv at gmail.com. Ogama TV, your one-stop media solution.